right, so we got your FM 200s, they're all jumped together. They all have this junction box. Right here is where the squib sits. This little silver thing's a squib. Uh, all of them have four wires, but the green and yellow are capped off together down here or separate. Uh, they're not going anything. It does have these two wires right here, red and blue, that are smaller gauge than the power wires. The power wires are jumping each one together. Uh, unfortunately, you probably can't see, but right here it says red, blue, green, and yellow. Uh, and it says squib underneath it. Um, that's where the red and blue are. So apparently if you pull the red and blue, that completely takes any wire away from uh, having any power to squib. Now the squib has the wires that are completely separated, uh, not wired together. Um, it does leave the trouble in. I was told if you want to clear the trouble, you, you put a jumper between the red and blue. Um, didn't do that because my high low and my water flow came in above it on the pre actions. But in case you're ever out here at Westwood, it's kind of how you deal it. You kind of see where it says red, blue, yellow, and green. So, really, once you clear the panel, everything's clear. You can put the red back where the red is and the blue back where the blue is, and then junction box on. And that's apparently how you uh, undo these squibs. Uh, like I said, if if no wire here is going to this releasing module, uh, we're safe. Uh, probably useless to y'all. Uh, probably didn't explain it that well, but if you're ever out here and you're frustrated and worried like me, maybe this will help.